हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मुस्ताक मुस्ताकूर अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म एन इंटीग्रेटर एम्पलीफायर यूजिंग ऑफ एम सेवन फोर वन यू नॉट टू परफॉर्म दिस सिमुलेशन आई एम यूजिंग द सिमुलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज प्रोटीएस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी इट सर्किट डायग्राम हियर सर्किट डायग्राम इज एज फॉलोज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन ऑफ एम एंड इन फीडबैक इट इज हैविंग अ कैपेसिटर दैट इज ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन माइक्रोफेरेट and a feedback resistor of 1.59 kilo ohm at input we have to connect 100 ohm resistors and we have to apply the square wave at the input and we have to observe the output at pin number 6 when we apply the square wave then we have to get a triangular wave hence in this way it integrates the input value now it's time to perform its simulation let's do it with the help of simulation software that is called proteus first we have to select here first go to component mode click on p first we have to select the op amp type as op amp once we type as op amp here the different op amp ic's are going to appear we have to select the 741 here click on 741 then double click on it and that is going to add in this list likewise we also need a resistor type register in keywords here we have to select generic symbol register just double click on it we also need a capacitor type capacitor here and here you can see that different types of capacitors are going to appear in this list but we need a capacitor that is generic non electric capacitor just double click on it and click on okay once we select the required components now it's time to build a circuit click on 741 and click on workspace here you can see that the pin number 3 is above and pin number 2 is below for the sake of convenience i will make it y mirror hence the pin number 2 appear on the upper side pin number 3 appears on the lower side now we have to connect a resistor at the input we also need a resistor as well as a capacitor at the feedback it's change its value here i have to make it as 100 ohms 100 ohms click okay and in the feedback we need capacitor as 0.01 microfarad and feedback resistor as 1.5 kilo 1.59k click on okay let's make the connection connect this 100 ohm to pin number 2 and this feedback capacitor to pin number 2 connect this resistor here and one end of capacitor is connected to pin number 2 and in the other end we have to connect to pin number 6 likewise we have to connect the resistor in the feedback we need a ground as well as power supply for that click on terminal mode select ground here make the connection we also need a power supply click on power i will by mirror it in the connection to of the power pin and here we have to connect the pin number 4 since the pin number 4 requires minus 12 volt hence we have to type here as minus 12 here type it as plus 12 plus 12 click on okay friends we are done with the circuit construction now it's time to apply the input and observe the output here we have to apply the signal and in the output we have to apply we have to observe the output for that go to virtual instrument mode here we have to select signal generator select the signal generator here connect the positive to the resistor and negative to the ground and in order to observe the output we need the oscilloscope click on oscilloscope connect a channel to the input to observe the input and connect b channel to observe the output friends we are done with the circuit connection let's run the simulation just click on this run button <coughs> here we can see that the signal generator is appear on the upper side and this is the lower side first we have to 
set the values here you can see that there are four tabs the first one is multiples first we have to select the frequency here for example i will select this as 1 kilo if i select this as 1 kilo ohm here i can get its multiple values likewise here this is the voltage peak to peak voltage here we have to select the range as 1 volt here we can change its voltage values with the help of these multiples now i will set the input voltage as 1 volt and frequency as a 10 kilo ohm since i have connected the input to channel a hence with the help of this voltage per division tab i can change its scale now i will change its scale before changing its scale one thing we have to keep in the mind that we have to keep this internal knob arrow to the maximum values likewise the channel b that is of blue color is connected here i will make i will change its scale now since i apply the 10 kilohertz hence the signals is not uh, visible properly change it's the time scale this is the time scale here which is applicable to both channel a and channel b if friends here i had applied the sine wave hence i am getting the integration of this if i apply the square wave just change the waveform here just click on this button here you can observe that when i apply the square wave here i am getting the triangular wave if i change this even this frequency i will change its range here in order to get the more than 12 kilohertz i will change its frequency friends here you can observe that as i change the changing the frequency i am getting the waveform Here we can observe that when I apply the square wave, I am getting the triangular wave. Friends, in this way, we perform the integrator amplifier using op amp 741. Friends, in order to get these kind of very informative video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.